Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So it's October and that means we're doing another birth month flower video. And October's birth month flower is marigolds. So let's get into drawing and painting them. Okay, so to start, I'm just gonna go through my materials. I am gonna be drawing and painting in my Etcher Lab watercolor cold press sketchbook. I have a pencil with me and I have my two Tombow mono drawing pens in size 01 and size 03. The difference is just the thickness of the nibs. I usually use the really small ones, the 01 for the shading and then the larger nib for the outline. But you do not have to have these. You can use whatever pen you have laying around. Just use lighter pressure for the, the thinner lines and thicker pressure for thicker pressure, heavier pressure <laughs> for um, the thicker lines, the outline, you know what I mean. Let's just jump right in. Okay, so marigolds, they are similar to the carnation in that they have a lot of tightly wound petals. So we are going to start, we're gonna do two perspectives, one of kind of like top down-ish and then one side perspective, and we're gonna do the same for the painting. So I'm gonna start off with my pencil drawing, and we're just gonna start off with this kind of squiggly center, like that, and then we can do some little dots, but we'll do that more so with the pen later. And then you're just gonna do these jagged edge little petals, so like that, like that, like that. Like that okay and then you're just gonna keep going around like that and then we can get bigger as you get further out it's really quite easy because it doesn't have to be perfect you know what I mean and then these petals can just be longer like so And like that okay so there is our top down version and we'll do the shading with the pen and then the side view we're gonna start with two little or just kind of jagged edge petals like this like that and that's kind of the center okay and then these petals are gonna come falling down like this so same kind of thing it's just you're not doing it on this side as well okay that uh, maybe not there let's do a couple more up here smaller up here like that and we're just gonna draw kind of the is it sepal so I don't know whatever you know that part down here <laughs> that kind of holds it all together we're gonna do some more petals too. I just kind of want to place where I'm gonna put this. Okay, let's do some more. We can have it kind of going into this one behind that one. Like that, okay? And then we can have a stem behind this one and then connect this together or have them cross however you want to do it. Actually, let's bring this down. And then we'll do the leaves. So the leaves, we're gonna do one kind of stem there. I'll just move this up a bit. So one stem there, and then we're gonna have the leaves coming off that stem. Like that. Okay, and they're kind of jagged edge too, right? They're not perfect, so. If you have a shaky hand, this actually might <laughs> work out better. I have a small one over here, like that. Just doing a really rough. Maybe we'll see just a little bit of that one over there. Like that, okay, and there you go. So now we're gonna go over it with our black pen and then I will show you how to do the shading.
Okay, so now that we're done our outline, we are just gonna take our eraser. Now we just erase all the pencil marks behind the ink. Okay, so now that we have our outline, we can go back in and shade. So again, if you don't have a smaller nib tip pen, you can just use light pressure. And you're just gonna do some lines coming from the base of each petal, really thin lines, and make sure they curve with the shape of the petal. And you're just gonna do this for every petal. And then once you're done that, if you wanna add a little bit of darkness under some of the curves, some of these petals, you can do that, just a little extra darker shading. So it's like you're kind of seeing the underside of some of them. Totally up to you if you want to add that step or not. You can make it a little darker closer to the center too. And kind of where some petals meet. Okay, and then for the leaves, we're just doing a little stem or vein down the middle, and then you can just do some little shading lines like that. So a line down and then some like lines coming in. And then I like to just kind of make it darker too where those leaves meet the stems. And then also a little bit of shading on the stems where there would be a bit of a shadow behind the flower. And then same here, this part, a little bit of shading there. And there you go, there are your marigolds. Okay, so now we're gonna paint some marigolds and like the carnation, it's a little bit difficult just because there's so many petals tightly wound together. Um, and I think for this, we might just go a little bit more loose, but let's just kind of see where this takes us. So I'm gonna start with our lightest color, which is gonna be cadmium yellow. I'm just gonna put some cadmium yellow in my palette. Oh, also I am using my Etcher Lab sketchbook, um, cold press, my Winsor Newton professional watercolors, and my Princeton snap brush in a size six round. Okay, so grabbing our yellow, placing it in there, not too, too bright, a little bit watered down. And we're just gonna start off with some kind of petals like this and just a little bit jagged, maybe even a little bit lighter. And you want them to be jagged and we're just going to go around in a circle first like this not too too wet either i'm going to mop some of that up okay and then we're going to just kind of keep going around you're going to go around those petals leaving some white space in between okay and just making some really jagged petals try and leave that white space in between okay so this is kind of one that's like you're seeing like dead on like from the top down and then we'll do another one that's kind of a side view okay but see how I'm leaving all those white spaces in between because we're going to be adding some darker color and then as you get closer to the outside, the petals can be a little bit larger. This is not my favorite flower to paint. I'm not a huge fan of these like tightly wound <laughs> kind of flowers. They're just a little bit more difficult. Okay, so before it dries, 
we're gonna grab some cadmium red. So that's an orangey red, not too, too much. And we're just gonna start tapping kind of like the center of those petals and let it bleed. So the base of each of those petals like that. Okay, so we want the tips of the petals more yellow and the base of each petal this like orangey red. Like that. And then you can even go in there with a bit more like cadmium red, cadmium red deep, sorry. And get a little bit darker. And this is all while it's still wet. But make sure you leave that yellow there. You don't want to overwhelm it with too much red. You really want that yellow. Like that. Okay, so let's do like a side view now. So again, we're going to start with our yellow. And then I think we're going to go, let's start with some jagged petals at the top here, smaller. And then they're going to come out like this. It kind of reminds me of a carnation kind of thing. And then we're just going to do some larger petals to the side here. Okay, so that's kind of the center. And this is the side view. So you're not going to be seeing the petals on the other side. Also, if you want to grab a little bit more yellow and just tap it in some of those previous petals, make sure you brighten them up a bit. So while this one is a bit more of a circle, this one's a bit more of an oval, if that helps to think about it. Again, still leaving that white space. Okay, let's grab our cadmium red, right at the base here, and then the base of these petals. Oops, that's a bit too much, it's okay. I actually kind of want them darker as they get closer to the base. Grab our cadmium red deep, so another shade deeper. Like that. And then I might even grab a little bit of purple, so diopsazine purple, and a little bit of cadmium red, just to get an even darker shade. Get a little bit more shadow in there. that like that okay and then we're gonna grab our green so I'm just gonna use some sap green to start and I'm gonna draw a stem like that and then we're gonna have a stem coming down from this one and you're gonna see a little bit of the bulb coming from this stem here so it can bleed a little bit into that flower. And we can make it a little bit darker and a little bit thicker. Like that. Okay, and then we're gonna start doing some of the leaves. And the leaves are interesting shaped, interestingly shaped. So I'm gonna start with one long stem like this. And then we're just gonna do kind of like a, a leaf there leaf there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Kind of funny shaped. And then kind of curve them together. And then we'll do one over here. Start with the stem all the way up. One at the top. Like that. And let's grab a bit more darker green. So I have this perline green, but you can grab hooker green, mix it with some purple if you like. And I'm just gonna tap the center of those leaves like that, maybe where they 
come together here like that. And if we wanted to, maybe we could do like a little bit of like a leaf starting to kind of bloom here. A leaf could bloom. I don't know. You know what I mean? Maybe one coming over here. Like that. Let's do one coming back up here. Just smaller. Like so. And there you go. There is your watercolor marigolds. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram and Facebook for even more. Have a great day, guys. What's that? And who's the baby? Noah. Yeah.